So everybody's talking about innovation these days, but it's kind of like the old criminal justice's definition of pornography. It's like everybody knows what it is, we'll know it when we see it, but we don't really understand it. And I think that's actually a fixable problem because in my career certainly we've spent decades now understanding what it takes to build an actual innovation proficiency uh, in your organization. So let's start with innovation theater, right? Innovation theater is we put everybody on a plane and we go off to Silicon Valley and we participate in, you know, innovation boot camps and we have post-it notes on the walls and everything's creative and it's wonderful and then it's like, oh, that was fun, but, you know, I got a deadline, I'll see you, let's get back to this next Friday. Innovation is never going to be an actual proficiency if you treat it that way. So instead what you need is to learn three kinds of skills. The first skill is indeed the concept of ideation. And everybody thinks that's the real problem. It usually isn't. Um, companies have enormous amounts of ingenuity. Uh, human beings are very creative. We have ideas every day that are more than we can ever implement. So from ideation we did need to have some kind of selection process that says, hey, these ideas have this property that makes them really worth further exploration. So the best ideas transition into what we call incubation. So incubation is the process by which you take a raw idea and you essentially discover product or service market fit. You've got a company that is able to offer something a customer looks at and says, whoa, I would buy that. I would actually pay money for that if you were to offer me something along those lines. And so you may be in market a little bit at a low level in the incubation stage, but the most challenging stage in my experience is acceleration. So the way to think about acceleration is your main business it's like an eight lane highway and it's moving along at 80 miles or 100 kilometers an hour and your little business is just on the on-ramp. And somehow you're going to have to get that little business to grow up. It's going to have to start playing nice with legal. It's going to have to have appropriate quality. You're going to have to have a supply chain that can be robust. And all these things need to happen in the acceleration phase before this little business can actually come and join your parent organization. Undergirding this whole thing is a governance process. And when I look at companies that struggle with innovation, almost without doubt, they have no way of governing the innovation process that's appropriate to what innovation needs, which is a consistent way of funding, uh, evaluating, progressing, or stopping ventures as they go through their journey. So in this talk, what you're going to get is really a demystified story about how you can make innovation work in your context. And no, you don't have to be Steve Jobs and run around in black turtlenecks.